hi happy december 1st happy christmas season i am so in the spirit i'm so excited and i don't know who i'm about to shock more by saying this me or you but we're doing vlogmas this year yay i'm so excited i did it with you guys in 2018 and then after that i was kind of like whoa it's, it's intense it's a lot it's a video every single day until christmas <laughs> But it just has been on my heart this year that I wanted to do it again and just savor the season with you guys and kind of make it like a low-key, calm, chill, cozy, cuddly vlogmas, <laughs> if that's a thing. Um, just really like take it down a notch and help us all slow down and savor the season and be present and enjoy this magical time of year together. So. That's my spirit and inspiration for this Vlogmas. And for day one, I thought we could have a little activity together and set up a cozy corner. I have like a vision that this is gonna be Charlotte's cozy Christmas corner <laughs> for Vlogmas this year. And that we can just get our little mugs of something delicious to drink and like curl up in the cozy corner together once a day until Christmas and yeah, like I said, just like soak up the moment. So I thought we would start by making that cozy corner. And then if you want to make a cozy corner in your house, this should give you some tips and tricks and insight and inspiration for all the ingredients necessary to do that. So go ahead and grab your first warm, cozy beverage of the season. And let's start building the cozy Christmas corner. And I made this little list that's kind of like the ingredients for a cozy Christmas corner for me. Um, I was a little sad not to do it by my big Christmas tree, but I wanted to let my husband have the freedom to like be watching TV while I'm vlogging this year. So we're doing it in here in the side room. So we need to at least have a miniature Christmas tree. You know we need twinkle lights. You know we need co cozy warm drinks, candles, blankets, pillows, like a little hand lotion station, probably some tissues, things like that. And I like to do my little crafts, so more on that in a minute. And then books for reading if you guys in your own station, you might want to add a journal, some nice pens, things like that. So these are just kind of the ingredients that we're going to play with. And yeah, this is about to transform into Cozy Station Central. So the first thing I've got here is a mesh canopy. I actually got this on Amazon a while ago. And I just think canopies add such whimsy. So I'm taking my art down and putting a nail in so that I can temporarily just hang this canopy here over the couch. And I thought I'd tie a little pink velvet bow on it to make it more festive. And I also tied some um, like red felt bows to hide the existing nails. <laughs> Uh, just to have something on the wall there without having to go buy something new. And then the canopy I got came with these cute twinkle lights. And the lights are actually in the shape of stars. They're really pretty, especially when it's actually dark out and you can see them better. But they get so tangled up because of the little harsh angles on the stars. So I was just detangling these forever. And then I just pinned them into the canopy. I love twinkle lights with like soft mesh fabric. It's so pretty. And it gives it such a whimsical vibe in here, kind of like a nursery, but you know, we're rolling with it. It just adds a little touch of like Christmas romance. And next I'm adding a miniature tree. I had this in my vanity in the other room and I just decided to bring it in here so I could share it with you guys instead of like having it only to myself in the other room. And I'm also adding my advent calendar candle. I absolutely love this. You burn a little bit each day and it's like a, a calendar, but in candle form. And I got that at a little Christmas shop in Solvang, California. And I'm just pausing here for some puppy cuddles. <laughs> Cindy came in the room. She always wants to know what I'm up to and like has to stop me for all the kisses and all the cuddles. And I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. Gotta fix that ear when it goes inside out. <laughs> she cracks me up. But now I'm using this ugly camp table and covering it with a cute Christmas scarf from Lush. Also, I have this delicious candle from Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. I have some candies. These are just from the dollar store, but I really like them because they're like festive looking with the pink. 
and just adding those to a little candy dish to have something in here put some lotion out and kind of creating my little station this basket is full of advent calendars i love advent calendars the most and this basket is my little craft basket and this is actually another advent calendar that i will show you more in depth later but i've got all my crafting supplies in here my little uh, pattern information in this folder, thread, needles, all that good stuff. So that's my little cozy supply center. And everything just fits in arm's reach from my station here. So I'm adding my fuzziest, softest blanket by Barefoot Dreams. I love it. Literally throwing in some throw pillows and Santa. And to be honest, these are empty boxes, but I just thought they were so cute. And every Christmas tree needs little presents underneath of it. So those are my imaginary presents. <laughs> and I like to have this book uh, for daily reading. It has really nice little thoughts for each day, especially in the month of December. I thought it'd be great to go through this book. It's called Simple Abundance. So I'm setting this out. So when I'm here and having like a quiet moment, I can use that. And then lastly, I'm just filling out a little itinerary here. So we know what to expect in some of these coming videos and I cannot wait. Okay, are you ready <laughs> for a dramatic Christmas cozy corner reveal? <laughs> Not so much of a reveal because you just helped me every step of the way, but this is our little like Christmas cozy palace over here. I'm quite taken with it. Honestly, I know it um, could also easily be like a two-year-old girl's room, but that's what I like about it. <laughs> it's so adorable. So we have all the nice fluffy cozy textures. The canopy is like kind of around the couch. I could pull it all the way around if we ever need to go into like the cone of coziness one day and just close the canopy up. But for now I have it like tucked open. You guys saw all of these magical touches and it's really just kind of like a pile of things that I might want to have access to during our special times this vlogmas so I'm just pretty happy with it like I can't wait to just get all curled up right here my one concern is there might not be enough twinkle lights we won't really know until the sun goes down tonight might be adding more of those as vlogmas continues <laughs> but for now we have a solid start and yeah like let the coziness commence so today's Vlogmas isn't going to quite follow like the formula I'm hoping we'll share for most of this month. I made this little itinerary with um, things that we can do each time. So I am going to go ahead and light the candles. This one is an advent calendar candle. So you burn it a little bit each day. It's so cute. And as you can see, the first day you burn it a lot. So I'm going to light that. Actually, I should trim the wick first. That's kind of crazy long. This is a ceremonial moment. This is like the official inauguration of Vlogmas and December and the Christmas season and the holiday season. I am so excited. Yay! And another thing I thought we could do together would be to open the advent calendars for the day. So this one is so special. These are real treasures from Anthropology. I'm so excited. So we are on day one cute little box these are actually great little gift boxes and today we have oh these are cute gel ipads and they have like little snowflakes i love these types of things that you can put them in the fridge or the freezer and put them on your face how cute look at the little snowflakes these are so precious okay and then this one, so cute that my friend made a little coffee and tea advent. So let's see what we have today. If it's decaf, I'll probably have it that night. And if it's not, I'll have it the next day. Ooh, cinnamon sugar cookie. That sounds amazing. I have never heard of this Keurig flavor. Okay, I might not be able to wait till tomorrow to have this. <laughs> it's caffeinated, but I'm actually making this video early. It's not even 2 p.m., so yes that's gonna happen right now that sounds so good how cute is she like this is the most adorable advent ever advented and then we have some chocolates i like the kind where the numbers aren't in order and you have to like hunt for it every day that makes it a little extra challenge day one and we 
have a little tiny milk chocolate drum. Pretty cute. Hmm, it's pretty good actually. It's just milk chocolate, like honestly, low quality milk chocolate, but kind of nice to have a little something. And then this calendar is only 12 days, so I won't start this until December 12th, right? I think. So that's it for today, our little special advent calendar joy bonanza. And tune back in every day if you want to share more. And then the other thing that's going to be on our little itinerary together is I thought it would be fun to do this embroidery advent calendar. This was a printable off of Etsy, so I will link it if anybody else is interested. And I ironed it onto this fabric, so you can kind of see this shiny outline from the iron-on paper I used. So it's not perfect. <laughs> um, usually when you get an embroidery pattern, the, the pattern is like printed on it in a kind of material that will wash out or fade. So, you know, this is kind of like a home <laughs> homemade DIY. But I thought it would be really fun all Christmas season because you embroider one square per day, just like an advent calendar. And that is so, such a cute idea. And I already got started a little bit on the roof of this little advent house. I still need to fill in like the greenery and all the walls and stuff. And then each day I'll just do a square. So I thought most days we would do it together. Today, since we already had like a lot going on, <laughs> um, I'll just fill in tonight's little square like while I'm hanging out with my hubby watching TV later probably. But I will show you in the next vlog how this is coming along and I'll keep you guys posted. I think it would be a great project for a beginner. So if you want to try jumping on board with this Advent embroidery, go for it. <laughs> and if not, I will show you exactly how mine turns out for better or for worse. <laughs> Hopefully better. We are in. This feels so right. I'm so excited for Vlogmas with you guys. And I just really want to do this this year to try to like spread some Christmas cheer and like create a little holiday spirit for all of us. I feel like the last two years have just been so hard. Hi, Cindy, come here. You want to be in the first video? Something tells me she's going to be a fixture in Vlogmas because she is all about like the cozy textures and the cuddles and any spot that's warmer than the rest of the house. So. She'll be our little mascot this year, and hopefully DC will come visit, our other dog. And Nate, my husband, he's like our official mascot, because he's just, we all love him around here, so I'll definitely make sure that he's a very special guest, as much as he'll let me. But this one, I think, is going to be our most willing participant, our victim of Vlogmas. She's so sweet. But yeah, I was just saying, I really wanted to do it this year, because I felt like the last two years have been so hard. Like, we, we made it through 2020, and we kind of thought that was, like, the end of the hardness. And then, in a way, 2021 was just even more challenging. At least for me, and speaking for people I know, like, we depleted so many of our resources trying to survive 2020 that, like, in 2021, it was the struggle. The proverbial struggle was real. So, I just thought Vlogmas, Vlogmas might add a little Christmas cheer and warmth for everyone. Um, we are hurting that we're not going to see family this year. Um, Nate hasn't seen his mom in two years now. I, you guys know, um, my parents passed away and all my grandparents passed away. All I have are my siblings and I haven't seen them in, I think, three years. And they all got together for Thanksgiving and I wasn't able to go. And yeah, our hearts are hurting that we can't be with family this Christmas. So I thought Vlogmas would add a little cheer and help us savor our time just with our little family here <laughs> um and i also thought if anybody else out there is just like lonely or missing your people or going through it um that hopefully this will be a little bright spot for you and at least you'll have my little family <laughs> to visit and hang out with this christmas season um yeah that's just my greatest hope for this that we can all bond together with a little bit of cheer and warmth and brightness to savor because it's just such a special Special time of year. Everything is so delicious at Christmas time and I really want to soak it up and be really present and mindful and feel like, you know, I hate when Christmas Day comes and you're like, oh my gosh, it's Christmas already? And then like the next day comes and it's Christmas is over already. Um, 
you know, you really want to like slow down time and savor it this time of year. So I'm hoping we can do that with Vlogmas. It'll just be like a little reminder to get your drink, maybe get some puppy cuddles and <laughs> sit down somewhere special. I hope you can make yourselves a little special area. It doesn't have to be quite this extra, <laughs> but um, something special where you can just like know that when you're there, you sit down and you take a breath and you soak up the season. Maybe you put my video vlogmas for the day on in the background while you're getting ready or while you're having your cozy drink or whatever it might be. But that is my hope that this is our cue to all of us to just like slow down and savor. The thing that um, was a little bit too hard on myself the last time I did this was I was so determined to like film and edit and post the videos all in the same day. So like vlogmas day one was on December 1st, day two was on December 2nd. That was my goal. And most YouTubers seem to do it where they post the day before the next day, which just makes so much more sense so that you have time to like edit it and render the file and upload it and everything. So for today, December 1st, I'm trying to get this up same day just because like letting the cat out of the bag that I'm <laughs> going crazy and doing Vlogmas again. Um, but from here on out, I'll probably post it the next day just to try to be like a little bit easier on my mental health. <laughs> Um, so like the vlog for December 2nd will go up on December 3rd and etc. all the way through the Christmas season. So that's my current plan. I will keep you guys posted if anything changes, but I'm just excited to be here with you and to be cozy together and to just be so present and peaceful and really soak up the season. Honestly, I might be just showing up here like in my bathrobe most nights, <laughs> just kind of like just to have chit chat like you know we can just talk like friends and sit down and relax together so that's pretty much the vibe for this vlogmas i hope you are here for it and that sounds fun to you too if it does be sure you hit subscribe say hi in the comments let me know um if there's anything special you request but otherwise just come over and hang out in charlotte's cozy christmas corner every single day from now until Christmas, and we're gonna have so much fun. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you December 3rd with the vlog for tomorrow. So yay, happy holiday season to all of you. I will talk to you later, bye. Say bye. <laughs>